Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to layer backgrounds in OneNote so that you can create a scrapbook style or just something that looks really nice for your journaling purposes. So these are the two finished products we're going to be making in this video and all of the images I'm using except for the photograph are from openclipart.org. So before we can talk about how to do these layered backgrounds, we have to first talk about how to pin something to the background. So on this page, I have the yellow background we're gonna be using in the photo uh, it, product. And if I create a text box and start typing, the image moves. And the way to fix that is to set the image's background. That kind of pastes or pins it to the OneNote page so it won't move around. So I'm going to right click, select set picture as background. Now I'm going to add a text box. Let's try right here. So you can type and nothing happens. So this image is now pinned in place and you can uh, you know, move your type around and it's not going to move. That brings us to our first demonstration where we'll be using two backgrounds behind the photo. So on this page, I already have all three of the elements I'm gonna use in this, and that was just to make it faster. This process would work the same way if you were using images from a file or wherever else. So I'm gonna start by just dragging these images around to get them kind of where I want them. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we have to pin them in the background because um, if we don't, these things can all move around and they're not gonna stay put and look nice the way we want them to. And I do wanna shout out Denise Vidoc. She's a blogger and content creator and she is amazing at using OneNote and she also does really fun, cool uh, camping and RV content. So I learned this idea of working from front to back first from her. So all three of the images are placed how we want them. So I'm gonna start with the photo, which is in the front. And this photo is of my dog, Danny. He died in 2018 after a long, happy life. And his tongue was just super ridiculous. So I have lots of fun photos of it. Anyway, I'm gonna click the photo and set the picture as the background. And it disappears now because it's at the bottom of the stack. Now I'm gonna click this geometric background and again, I'm gonna set the picture as background and now that's disappeared because it's at the back of the stack. Finally, I'm gonna click this yellow background and I'm gonna set that as background. And now the image looks like we wanted it to, except all three of these layers are pinned into place. And you'll see that I can, I can type right here and nothing happens. So you could type out on this, write on it, you could add some handwriting or whatever. So now we're going to go into our second demo, which is the corkboard. And just to remind you what that looks like, it was here on the right hand side of this page. So we're going to go ahead and recreate that. So as you can see, I have all of the elements that I need for this demonstration. Uh, they're on the right hand side of the page. I have the corkboard, the sticky note and the yellow piece of paper. I did go and grab this image uh, that says memo to show something specific that I discovered while I was getting ready to film this. So when I go to, so nothing is set as background right now. If I drag this post-it note, it goes behind the cork board. And if I drag the yellow thing, it goes in front, but the yellow thing goes behind the memo. So the post-it note goes behind the cork board and behind the memo. So you can get a little bit of randomness was really all I wanted to show. So you might have to temporarily set something as background to get your layers where you want them and then unset everything as background and then start from the front and work backwards. So I'm going to get this memo image out of the way since we're not going to use that. So I'm going to start, I'm going to drag the cork board kind of where we want it. And I'm going to drag this yellow piece of paper about there. Now with the sticky note, we want two. So I'm going to make a copy. So I just click right click, copy, and I'll put it down here so it's away from everything we need. And then I'll drag it up. 
Okay, so the sticky note is going behind the corkboard. So this is a good example for me to show you how to, how to work with this. And my other sticky note was in front. So we have, again, a little bit of randomness. And I think it has to do with, as I was prepping for this, I have been experimenting with setting them as background and not setting them as background. And I think OneNote has some memory of that. So I'm going to select the court board, set it as background. Now everything's where I want it to be. Now I'm going to unset the corkboard as background. So my cursor is like way up here in the right hand corner so that it can't be mistaken that I'm clicking on any other image. And now you can see that I can select the corkboard, but I can also select any of my other images. So again, working from front to back, I'm going to start with the yellow piece of paper. I'm going to right click, set picture as background. I'm up on my left hand sticky note, right click, set picture as background. On the other sticky note, right click, set picture as background. And then we're, last of all, we're gonna do the corkboard because that's our bottom layer. So now it looks more or less how we wanted it and everything's locked into place. So I could type, I could, I, if I had a stylus, I could write and make notes. So that's it. That is how to create these layered backgrounds or kind of a more scrapbook style look in OneNote. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see more OneNote tutorials as well as content on getting things done, goal setting and life management, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this, hit the like button to let YouTube know that it's worth recommending to other people. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.